Like most of rural New Zealand, the Rangitike is full of beautiful old buildings, but some of them, many of them, are an earthquake risk. Recent changes to legislation on earthquake prone buildings have meant big changes for one small town and a warm tale of community spirit, proving that Bulls is more than just a turn off. Because we're in the high risk part of the country, so we had a tight time frame and unfortunately a number of our council buildings were impacted by the impending legislation. So effectively we're council buildings, we have seven and a half years to replace a town hall and a library. So we looked at all of the options around you know, whether you repair things, whether you earthquake strengthen them. And then we looked at the cost of earthquake strengthening, which of course doesn't mean that something is fit for use either and decided that the best facility would be a new facility incorporating all of these features. While the community centre covers a lot of ground in terms of facilities, it also services a large catchment area. So our district is one of the largest land districts in New Zealand. Not so many people, but lots of sheep and cattle and space and some beautiful stunning scenery. So we have Martin, Bulls and Tai Happy and they're a reasonable distance apart. So it's covering a, an area out from the coast between um, Whanganui and Palmerston North through to the area of Martin and we also suspect a lot of Martin organisations will come down and use the facilities. We will have a town hall um, with seating for over 300 people. Um, it will have an area, that you, the library that you can look over and, and have performances. It'll have the normal council facilities in terms of where do you pay your rates, where do you make inquiries, and when you're coming into our beautiful district, you know, what's for sale, where can you go, who can you talk to? But civic buildings don't come cheap. With a loan, as well as the support of ratepayers, it still needed a bit of fundraising too. Very democratic process, and we're locked in by, of course, local government rules. So the first part of what do we need and how do we get it means that you go out for consultation. But we needed to be able to demonstrate um, that there was a local buy-in and we certainly needed the local money. Realising it would take a lot more than a sausage sizzle, Councillor Jane Dunn took on the bold plan of finding a house they could do up and sell, the proceeds going towards the community centre. Well, I was hoping, and we do have a really lovely community here in Bulls, but I, I was kind of wondering, but it was fantastic, yeah. The council donated some land and a local house relocation business found them a house and the rest is history. So we're in Walton Street and at a house that the community have put together um, for auction on the 2nd of November. It's taken oh, about 10 months, I think, from start to finish. The start was this place in um, Central House Movers' Yard, not painted, holes in walls and floors, not moved on the site. So, um, yeah, been a, a big, fantastic project to be involved in. Bulls is one of those special communities, and it, I mean, look at the process around this house build. Where else in the country? Could you get all of the tradespeople who say, I'm going to come and I'm going to do the plumbing and I'm going to do the ele electrical stuff and, and I'm going to do the, the drain digging and the painting and the plastering and it goes on and on and on. Obviously we owe a huge vote of thanks to people like Central House Movers that made a house available and Merv Connolly who oversaw the project. But I challenge anywhere in the country to find somewhere that people have got behind it. And of course it wasn't even those, just those tradespeople, it was all the suppliers. So the electrician said, we'll do the work, but they went to all of their suppliers and said, this is a really, really special project in a cool community, let's make it possible. The house will be auctioned on site, the new owner not just buying a home, but making a significant contribution to their community. Um, we'd embrace them, it would be great. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.